you can see, even though she's thin, for whatever reason, it's just her genetics, her body likes to put more fat internally. Behind the mask. So I want to show you this um, point here and this patient here is here for a consultation. She's been uh, nice enough to let us film even after I said something that, uh, you know, maybe wasn't so nice. <laughs> but so there's a couple things I want you to see. Number one is she's got the winning combination. Remember, that's a small waist and a large fatty deposit in the love handle and key areas. So that's fantastic because look, her waist is good. It's small but she's got all of this fat here. So that usually results in a very good change because we can reveal the small waist with the liposuction and she's got a nice shape to her butt already. We're gonna add some volume. We're gonna fill in the hips here. But I told her, I said, you're a skinny fat person. And she's like, I know. So let's have you turn here. And I'll show you what I mean by this. So even though she's got the winning combination with a small waist and large fatty deposits here, which are gonna give a good result, what's not gonna give her a good result is the fact that she has quite a bit of internal fat. And so I'm just gonna turn you to the side here and I'm just gonna have you straighten your arm out. So you can see, even though she's thin, for whatever reason, it's just her genetics, her body likes to put more fat internally and so here there's quite a bit of internal fat that I cannot get. So while I would anticipate a good result with a small waist and large love handles, what's going to hurt us and prevent us from getting a good result is this internal fat here. So even though she's thin, she still has this internal fat. She still has to lose weight before surgery. So, I mean, there are some people that have to lose weight before surgery even though their BMI is fine and they're a good weight and people kind of consider them slim or, you know, that they've never really been a fat person. Um, and so this is a perfect example. So I've asked her to lose quite a bit, probably over 15 pounds, and that will get rid of the internal fat. Remember, your body likes to burn the internal fat first. And so we'll get rid of the internal fat. That'll change that line. So she'll be much fat, flatter. I'll take all the external fat, okay, this is all external fat, and given the small waist, the large fatty deposits here, her already good shape and nice tissue, once we get rid of the internal fat, then it's gonna be good, she'll be good to go. So this is someone I'm gonna recommend, she, or, or she has to lose fat prior to having the operation. Um, it's a good thing I don't, or I would never operate. Um, so, and then that way we're gonna get the very best result.